Welcome to our 3PI Wiimote setup tutorial. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the initial setup. Now here we have our standard 3PI uh, Nintendo Wiimote and the 3PI uh, Boom. You see it's um, attached nicely to our data projector and the data projector is normally about a metre and a half to two metres away from the screen that you want to project onto. Realistically you don't want to get your data projector a million miles away from the screen. Um, it might give you a bigger screen, but the actual impact that you have with your Wiimote and 3PI pen um, won't be nearly as good. Okay, so here we have, the, the idea is to uh, direct the Wiimote um, into the center of the screen. Now if you've got something like a, um, like a laser pointer, then this is a great opportunity just to uh, get the old laser pointer out, align it up again, alongside the Wiimote and, um, and get some sort of centerage going on there. Works very, very well. Now let's get the system all powered up. Take your 3PI switch and hold the button down for about 3 to 4 seconds. Then find your smoothboard icon on the desktop of your computer and double click on this. The blue lights on your, on your Wiimote should now be flashing. As the software loads you'll notice that it's highlighted in green your Wiimote number, which is a great sign. The software will complete the process by turning the blue flashing lights into one solid blue light on your Wiimote. Now if the lights stop flashing during the process, simply push the red button again and um, let the process go through. The very first time that you do this, it might take a little bit longer, but it is faster um, from that point on. Now let's talk about calibration. This process is important as it tells the Wiimote exactly where the pen is on your screen. Click on Quick Calibration on the Smoothboard software, take your pen and then carefully touch each of the four crosshairs in the middle of your screen. That is the whiteboard screen, not your computer screen. Now it's worth getting this right. If you muck up, it's fine. Just go back, click on Quick Calibration again, and start again. Okay, let's have a look at uh, some of the things that Smoothboard does. So over here we have uh, the navigation and annotation. Now if we click on red pen and then uh, with our 3PI pen we can draw all over our wall which is really really good. Uh, obviously we can erase that. We can turn this into a white screen if we want to and uh, draw all over it just like this. Now just note that I clicked on the cursor there and that means that we can go back to our screen and we can do all sorts of different things. Now there's navigation uh, and PowerPoint uh, controls there too, for very very useful for uh, getting around websites and using navigation of course. Now uh, snapshot, click on snapshot, you can take a photo of, uh, of the screen that you've just drawn all over it. Uh, and it saves it as a JPEG. Now this file is found in under file and uh, in a folder called the snapshot folder. Now obviously here I've uh, had a few different goes in the past, and uh, this is the one that I'm looking at. Looks good, doesn't it? I wonder if I want to keep that one. Mm. Now, also, the smoothboard uh, screen can be pulled all over the place and can be uh, made slightly smaller. And also, we've got this uh, floating uh, show settings here. There's a whole lot of different settings here that you can uh, use if you need to. Now we notice down here in the right hand corner we have an L. If you click on that it turns into an R which means that every click that you now do is a right click. Uh, which is very handy. It then defaults back to L. And the SB, if you uh, right click on the SB and uh, then you have yourself a keyboard, which is also very, very handy. Um, you're doing all sorts of different things. 